If you're feeling depressed, maybe you're always tired, or you're having problems, you know, down there, then you might just be suffering from low testosterone. Today, I'm gonna give you five reasons why men are suffering from low testosterone. And number five is hands down the most important one, so make sure you stay till the end. Now, before I dive into it, if you think that you're struggling with low T, I encourage you to go to your doctor and get your testosterone levels checked. But hold on, make sure that you ask for your free testosterone, not total testosterone. Total testosterone refers to the total amount of testosterone available in the bloodstream now. Now, free testosterone, on the other hand, represents the portion of testosterone that is not bound to any proteins and is available for immediate use in the body. So make sure when you go to the doctor, you ask for your free testosterone levels because they're far more important than total testosterone. So number one is lack of exercise. Regular physical activity and resistance training has been proven to increase testosterone levels. So go for a walk, go for a run. But my opinion, the best thing you could do is hit the gym and lift some weights. I can personally attest to this one. When I was struggling with low testosterone, I noticed that I wasn't exercising at all and it was massively negatively affecting my daily routine number two is poor sleep habits now sleep is vital for hormone regulation and not getting enough sleep can drastically lower your testosterone levels make sure that you prioritize a healthy night's sleep I would say roughly seven to eight hours every single night number three is chronic stress now long-term stress can disrupt hormone production and lower your testosterone levels now this one's a lot easier said than done if we could just wave a wand and reduce all of our stress that would be incredible but the world we live in today comes with stress. So you're going to have to find your own stress management techniques that are going to work for you. This is one of the tougher challenges. When I was dealing with a lot of stress in my life, it takes a long time to just reduce the stress from your life. It's just not something you're going to be able to overcome in just a few days or with a couple therapy sessions. But if you slowly start to chip away at it little by little, you will see your stress levels slowly decline. Number four is excessive alcohol and substance abuse issues. Now, I personally have experience with this one. When I was abusing substances, my test testosterone and my drive completely fell to nothing. I mean, this one is kind of common sense and you probably knew it, but when you're putting these toxins and poisons in your body, it's going to disrupt every organ in your body and it's just going to lower your testosterone massively. If you're having issues with substance abuse, then I highly recommend that this is your number one priority to tackle. I would encourage you to go see a counselor or maybe go to a 12-step meeting that fits you best. Those two things saved my life right there and I know they can help you. So here we are, number five. Hands down, the number one most important thing that is going to lower anybody's testosterone is the food you put into your body. Eating a lot of processed foods, sugar, and unhealthy fats have been scientifically proven to lower your testosterone. So what you want to try and do is incorporate a lot of fruits and vegetables and lean protein into your diet. I was having issues with ED a few months ago and I wasn't quite sure what it was because I'm a vegan, I've been sober for six years, and I regularly exercise. But the issue I was having was I was not having enough protein in my diet. And overall, I just wasn't eating enough food. So all these other areas in my life were improved. I was sober for six years. I was sleeping seven to eight hours a night and I was exercising, but I was still having issues with low T. So this right here to me is 100% proof that diet is the number one most important thing that's contributing to low testosterone in men and women too. It's not just men. This is contributing to low testosterone in everyone. It's crucial to understand the impact of low testosterone on your life. It can affect your energy, your desire, and your physical overall well-being. But the good news is you have the power to make a change by acknowledging the signs, seeking help, and making positive lifestyle choices. You can reclaim your vitality and live life to the fullest. 